and I didn't even bring any party favors. Oh, I did, and you'll get it later on. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, all of you. Whenever your birthday is, happy birthday. Say it to them, Bly. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Let's say it again. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excuse me, hey, we're a little our punchy. Party to, yeah, we've Do you been hear here. that noise whining in the background? Yes. Barely? That's you know a recording that of you earlier, I think, whining in the background. we are going to go on? I'm sick of waiting. No, that is an ice cream freezer oh. spinning in the distance. It oh. has been spinning now for hours, and it doesn't sound like it's gotten any. <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't see. know what's yeah, going well, on. Neither do Have I. you ever had ice cream fail to get hard? Nope. To Always had a tremendous amount of success. Uh, how many cream. times you ever made it? Dozens of times. <laughs> how do you think I got like this? Uh -huh. Hey, let me show everybody a little trick here. Oh, watch Ladies this. Watch this. Let's see if I can do it. Wasn't that Good. terrible? And it went hey. all the way down here to King. Let me try it one more time. I've right, been doing it all. Hey, wasn't believe? that terrible? Once more. No, that's I'm nice. not going to give up. That's it. I Why did you, it a dozen times. Why don't you before? balance that thing on no. your finger like you did before? At least you can do that. That that doesn't count because it balance the thing on your finger like you did before. Wait, you can do second. that. I'm. <laughs> There, there it go. is. Hey, hey. It's amazing. Now, now show them the balance right, on your finger. Let me balance it here on my finger. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Terrific. All right. But hey, have you ever done it with a whisk? No. It is amazing. Isn't it? <laughs> That's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't want to even get into. I'm going to make ice cream. And I'm going to make a chocolate covered cherry cake that was sent in by one of our viewers. Who was it? I, I know the rest of it. Alara Laura Steele Steel of, of Bristol, Bristol, Tennessee. Tennessee. Thank, Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Appreciate you. it. Yeah. Well. Do you want me to start? Yeah, why don't you? All right. Go ahead. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take two cups of half and half. Two cups of half and half. Do you realize if you put two of these together, you get a hole? <laughs> oh. That's the most half and half I've ever seen. Two cups of half and half. You got a quart, a gallon of half and oh, half? Oh, I'm going to use this stuff on my cereal tomorrow morning. Oh. Two. Two. Well, a little over the side there, boys and girls. Well, that's all right. Now we're going to put this on the heat because we're going to scald burn. it just a little bit. We're going to scald it. And two cups of whipping cream. And that is exactly two cups in that container right there. Two cups in this mysterious container, <laughs> in the nondescript container. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to heat that almost to the boiling point, but not quite. We're going to scald mm -hmm. it. We don't want to boil it. And that's the first part of my ice cream recipe. Um, All right. That's well, about as exciting okay. as this show is going to get, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. What do I have to do? All right. I have to, first thing I have to do, oh. Have you got enough eggs to loan me three? I just realized I didn't bring the eggs yeah, with me. Yeah, I sure do. In fact, I have one with four left over in it that I didn't use earlier Thank on the I'll recipe that is now being sure you will, right. being done All right. in the background. You got to have three eggs and you break them down into this pan. Is that, I hope that motor's not burning up on that. I borrowed this uh, from our friend, the Wilkins. Oh, no. And he went down in his basement and got this out and oiled it for me before I brought it over here today. But he says, now, if this, he says, if this thing goes, it means that the ice cream is finished and please unplug it because it'll burn up. Oh, no. <laughs> and that's all I need for this thing to cost me $120. All right, now, this I, show. I, I, all right. Three eggs are beaten up in this pan, and I'm going to throw in a teaspoon of almond flavoring. All right, so that's in, beat that up, and I'm going to add to it a can of cherry pie filling. Take your time, take your time, uh -huh. take your time. We have till uh, uh -huh. three hours to get this program done. All right, now let's see if I can... All right, now, this is a can of this gloppy cherry pie filling. And do you know I went to a Chinese restaurant here in town some time ago, and they used that on the sweet and sour. 
Ugh. Yeah. Now, I think that's disgusting. And as a matter of fact, we will be putting up the <laughs> recipe, the name of the, the, name of the, the restaurant, restaurant and their phone that. number at the end of the program so you can all call them and complain. Well, now, my friend John Eckert up in Stanton, Virginia, that travels during the, the good weather with the carnival, makes elephant ears. Uh-huh. And, and they use that on them. They do. Yeah, they this use that on This is what they, they use on the elephant ears at the carnival. Good stuff. Real tasty. Gloppy. All right, now. Good and gloppy. We have to combine the eggs and the uh, <laughs> cherries here. Do you want to do something else no, or do you want me to keep no, going? I really don't. I want you to just keep on going. <laughs> All right. I'm going home here in a minute. <laughs> All right. Now, my, past my you time. Have, you have to combine. Union rules, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> we. Joke, joke. We work on the union label around here. <laughs> They're going to laugh when we join. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, now, here oh, is. milk is looking like milk. Mm. All right, now, here, now, my cherries are now mixed up mm -hmm. with the eggs and the <laughs> almond extract. <laughs> it's mixed up cherries. All right. <laughs> now, to that, I'm going to add this box of devil's food cake mix. Oh, no. Say it's not true. It is. It is. Now, you can't, when you do this, you don't put the oil in that, that this recipe calls for. You don't put the oil in. Don't do that. And you don't, uh, you don't use your mixer on it because your that. mixer will break up the cherries and make them a mess. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, it's hermetically sealed. How will I ever get it protection. open? I can't get it open. Have Never you got know. a knife? No, I don't. Well, neither do I. Well. Oh, well, well, let me get you one. Good heavens. Well, I don't know. I just can't. Why do they put stuff? I know that it's for, you know, I know that it's for a good reason, but gee whiz. Yeah, you never know when some child's going to eat a bag full of that stuff and, well. Croak. And rise <laughs> to the occasion. <laughs> Yes, kid eats this. No, no, don't try this at home, boys and girls. All right, now, you just put the whole thing in. You'll notice that at no time did his hands leave his body when All he right. was pouring that. This knife makes me nervous. All right, <laughs> and you start to mix this up real good by hand. And this is real important that you do this this way. Do not use your mix master on this. And... It's, as you can see, it's beginning to get, Local, get like more Christmas. doughy. <clears throat> uh, Is there any part of this you're saving back? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yes. Because whatever you are, I've, I've got some things. Now okay, I well, I have to keep doing this for another few minutes, so you go ahead. All right. Whatever well, it is that you feel that is necessary for you to do in order to assure the success of this show today. <laughs> go right ahead. You, see if I care. Well... As the old uh, ice cream freezer continues to whine in the background, if you take a look at this, you'll see that this is getting just a little tad frothy on the edges. And you don't want it to boil, so it's right to the point now where you pull it off the fire. Just a little bit. And we're going to cut that down to simmer because we're going to put it back on there in just a couple of minutes. Now what I have to do is I have to take eight eggs and I have to separate the yolks from the jokes. The jokes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Them's the yolks. You've got to take eight yolks, this calls for. This is a very rich ice cream. And you got to get that one. Excuse me, folks. I have to open up another one. I lent my eggs to Mr. Johnson, so I'm having to open some. Do you realize two, that over in the foreign fields of Europe where they're have having all the... Oh, All of the problems horrible. in the communist country that it's probably midnight about right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have a terrible problem here. I, oh, this is really embarrassing for a close-up. Two. Two. You're lucky if they got a close-up today. <laughs> Three. How many more I need? Five. Mathematical whizzes here. Uh -huh. Four. Four. I'm sorry, but well, I did a right bad job on that one. Five. How many of these are you doing? Eight. Mm. Six. 
six. And here's the next to the last with seven. Seven. And finally. A little punchy back there, a little wacky. There we go. And now I want to give this to Jim. <laughs> no, that's all right. Now, what we got to do is we got to put some sugar in that, and we're going to whisk that around. I'm going to steal the whisk out of there. Oh, don't there. you think that's kind of whiskey? Uh, <laughs> two thirds cup of sugar. I've heard stuff like that all day today. What? That's what. Well, never mind. This sugar is just the lumpiest stuff I've ever seen in my life, I swear. Well, here, do you want to use my mine? It's not so lumpy. Two-thirds cup of sugar. And whisk it all up real good. Get the lumps out if you can, although I don't know whether it's possible with this. I'm just going to pull them out of there in a minute. And you got to keep whisking that around and get it all gooped up there. Now. What you'll do at this point, once you've got that done, you beat the yolks and the sugar until thick and lemon colored. Until Is that lemon colored enough? It. Well, it looks a little purple. Uh, <laughs> then you whisk in a third of the scalded cream. Oh, how terrible. It's gotten a terrible. <laughs> I think that's some of that uh, Crisco from the time we fried chicken in that pan. <laughs> <laughs> Put some of that back in there, and we're going to whisk that up, and then we're going to return it all back in there. And in a couple of minutes, I'm going to run off the set and check my, uh, <laughs> which doesn't seem to be doing much more than it did two hours ago well, when it right. first started in my conference room. i got to be the only advertising man in town that was doing ice cream in his conference room today. All right. Well, better there than that other room down the hall. All righty. <laughs> Is that everything supposed to go in there? Uh-huh. Yeah. Half and half whipping cream. We'll add the vanilla last. Now, the recipe I'm going to show you today calls for a vanilla bean split lengthwise. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go with <laughs> vanilla. I just split this bottle lengthwise, and I'm going to throw that in there after a while. Now, return all of this back into your scalded stuff. Complete with those big lumps flying everywhere. Listen to them. Just flying all over the place. And now you're going to return this to the heat and put it on low heat. And at this point, you've got to stick with it until it thickens into a nice custard. All right? Mm -hmm. This will be custard's last stand here. Uh, full of them here today, aren't we? All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. And, and that's what I'm going to do for a little bit, okay. uh, Johnson. All right. Now. Yeah, and clean off my area here so I can bring in my... Now here's my batter from my chocolate covered cherry cake and here is a 9 by 13 pan. And uh, you just scrape your batter on down in here. <laughs> Did I hear somebody up there? Scrape your batter on down to the ground. Making a uh, unseemly untoward remark about the way this delicious wow. chocolate batter I'll looks. Tell you what, got those cherries in there, looks good to me. It really does. All right, now, and you spread it out, and you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you're going to bake this for 25 minutes, and then you start testing to see if it's done. And I think uh, even though I, the recipe that uh, Laura sent in said it would be done in 20 to 25 minutes, I think you'll find that it will take a little bit longer but do it for 25 and then start checking out your, uh, uh, where's my spoon? Check it out to make sure that it is done. And you do that by inserting a toothpick in the middle of it. And when you pull the toothpick out, if it's dry, it's done. And if it's still gloppy, you need to put it back in the oven for three or four minutes. All right, now, that pretty much is the cake batter and you'll find that it just turns out beautifully and we'll put this over here because we're not going to bake that one right now. No folks, I already made another one. Now we're going to make the icing for it and you make this while your cake is baking because you need to pour the icing over the fiery hot cake 
when you bring it out Hot cake. of the oven. Mm -hmm. And to make this, we start with one cup of sugar in a pan, and to it we're going to add five tablespoons, count them, one, two, three, four, and five of margarine. So let's see, that's four, half a stick is four, and that makes five. So, there it goes, and that goes down in there. And then also, we're gonna put in three ounces of evaporated milk. Now this little can holds five, so it's gonna be a little over half the can. This is turning into a lovely custard. You may want to look at it. It's quite gorgeous. And again, you don't want to boil this. You just want to thicken it. You get a startling overhead of that. You'll see it's getting a little frothy and it's getting a little thicker now. And you'll just get it almost to the boiling point. Make a real nice custard out of it and then we will pull it off of that heat. So I'm just whisking it around. You want to burn it. No one wants to have burned ice cream. In fact, I'm going to cut it off right now but we because... we wouldn't mind if it was cold and frozen. I've got it right to the point I want it. Now, just before you go to put it into whatever you're going to make your ice cream in, you do several things to it. First of all, you take some unsalted butter and sort of dot it around in there and mix it in at this point. And also, at the last possible minute, you add about two tablespoons, if you're going to do it with just this kind of uh, vanilla, two or three tablespoons of vanilla, depending on how, how much vanilla taste you want it to have. I sort of like it a little strong on the vanilla side. And you mix that all in there. And then you just pour that into your container. Well, maybe you got one of those little fancy ones. You put it in the freezer and you drag it out every couple of hours and turn it or whatever. However you make your ice cream from there according by, to the, the, the instructions on your machine. Mm -hmm. You know, while you're doing that, you, you reckon we ought to go to the recipes sure, client? Let's sure. go. Let's look at these recipes. Chocolate covered cherry cake from old Lara Steele down in Bristol where the kids in Bristol are sharp as. One teaspoon of almond flavoring, one can, that's a 22, 21, 22 ounce can of cherry pie filling one box of devil's food cake mix. Frosting has one cup of sugar, five tablespoons of margarine, a third of a cup of evaporated milk, and one six ounce package of chocolate chips. And the easy basic vanilla ice cream, two cups of half and half, two cups of whipping cream, uh, one vanilla bean split lengthwise, or about three or four tablespoons of vanilla if you're lazy like me and eight egg yolks, two-thirds cup of sugar, four tablespoons, or about a half stick of unsalted butter, cut into pieces, dot it into it. And then uh, just use whatever instructions you would normally use for making your ice cream in your freezer. And I have brought the freezer onto the set, the whiny freezer, and boy, I could just hardly... What is that? that this is an old one, made of honor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can believe that. <laughs> That's be the only major of honor that come out of the Wilkins residence. And we're gonna, well, Lord, it's not as much as I would like, but it is stiffer than good stiff. You know, this used to well, be did the you best fill part. That up? I mean, recipe must not make it must a whole not lot. make a whole lot. That's right. Uh, I need a big spoon. <laughs> I can't well, here. Get to it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, the best part of making ice cream, this used to be the best part right here, was getting the, dashers, the dashers and licking the dashers. But today, we're just going to take the dashers and toss them aside. But I want to tell you, let me give this a little try here. Here, let me, let me put my finger on it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I think it's right good. Mmm, it is. <gasps> oh, <laughs> missed. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. that is... It's the best part of making ice cream right there. Now, my, my mixture of sugar and butter is Woo, boiling, and it good. needs to boil for a minute, so we'll time that. Uh, you know, Miss Witch is here today with a letter that we got this week, and I think we probably ought to let her come in and whoops, good grief, and read this letter so we'll know what we're doing next. Well, look at her. She's got a little party hat on, a little birthday hat. Oh, that's just You're adorable. So sweet. 
Well, let's see. Let's get the old witch out of here. <laughs> get the witch out. Oh, good grief. This is one of those long ones. Look at this, Bly. Do you want to read this? No. <laughs> I want to well, eat ice cream. Yourself. Well, dear gentlemen, I is very excitable at the present time because I have just gotten me a new job which will be paying me more cash monies than I be presently getting. <laughs> As a matter of effect, uh -huh. it is definitely going to be the bestest job that anybody here in our town of Cracked Rock, Tennessee <laughs> could have. <laughs> See, I be the new head chef at the county work farm where my husband, Big Boy Hostetter, is now residing <laughs> due to that shooting up at Hogtail, which is another matter that I do not necessarily think I ought to be talking about on national TV and all, but for which everybody knowed he got a bum rap because that old judge had him had it out for my mama after that time she caught him barehanded. Good thing it's a long show. Barehanded. Barehanded. Anyways. <laughs> We're going to have this big old party to celebration my new work status. So what can we serve? And it's from Patsy Joe Hostetter at Crack Rock, Tennessee. Huh. Well, it just so happens that, that uh, we're going to do a new job promotion party. Yeah. So Patsy here. Joe, next week, honey, we'll do something for you to have. Now I'm adding this little box of chocolate chips, a little six-ounce package right. into while, here. While they're doing that. Let Thank me you. let me show them this fine uh, oh. bowl of ice cream. It is gorgeous. It is real firm and beautiful and gorgeous. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm doing, huh? Mm -hmm. And that's lovely. But I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it don't make this much. That recipe does not make enough to fill that, and that's why it kept going. But if you look down in there, you'll see that there's the greatest of plenty. We could probably feed about, uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, two or three. Probably yeah, two or three try. more people in there. In fact, I imagine the staff will have an opportunity at it just as soon now, as Bly, we get out Now, Bly, if everybody will look, here I, I've melted this, the six ounces of chocolate chips, and you pour this icing over the hot cake. Woo. So let's get over here. Let's get on it and get to it and get down with it and one time, baby. Well, we've already got those here, so we'll just set those inside those. We're going to have a little birthday ice, homemade ice cream and homemade cake. Mm, mm, mm. Well, of course, we've already tried the ice cream, and we have deemed it wonderful. And don't eat it too fast, because it'll go right here and just give you a powerful headache. It really will give you a terrible headache. Mm. That's real good. This is just a tad little bit grainy. And you know what you can do to, to prevent a little graininess in, in this? You put a little... Put it in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that probably would work. <laughs> no, what you do is you put a little uh, uh, unflavored gelatin in there, just a little bit, and it'll smooth it right out. That's true. When you're making it, not mm, afterwards. Right. Don't sprinkle it on top, all right? Mm. Let me try this cake. It looks wonderful. Mmm. Well, boy, I want to tell you, this is a fine, fine meal. Chocolate-covered cherry cake. What more could you ask for? Happy birthday one time, baby. Mmm. Oh, somewhere in the world right now, somebody's selling their birth celebrating their birthday. <laughs> somebody's selling their birthday. <laughs> Act look at them. And now the little workers in the background, ladies and gentlemen, whistling. And look at that crew, they're all standing back there. You know, they, some stuff they won't come out and eat, but this stuff they just can't wait to get their lips on. I, look at them salivating and crawling. Mm -hmm. well, Mike Carroll hadn't been here for two years, and he's so excited he doesn't know what to do. He celebrated seven birthdays this year. Mm -hmm. mm, that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you all can't enjoy this, I know. This homemade What do you ice mean cream? there's a minute left? <laughs> Let me cut another piece of dog. Oh, well, let's eat some more. Oh, I hate to keep stuffing myself like a pig. No, but you don't. You love stuffing yourself like a pig, and you always have. Well, we should have taken more time licking those dashers. I knew it. <laughs> That's the best part of it all. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're glad that you could join us again for Cooking Cheap. Get your mouth empty and say something black, because my mouth is tired of talking. Well, That's what I thought. It's real good. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.